viewers, viewers, and YouTubers, this is GA Takes. Welcome to my show. I uh, had always said that um, I would bring to you guys people who I believe in their own rights deserve their own show for one reason or another, uh, and just kind of share these interesting people who I've run into in my life uh, with you. Um, but I never thought that I would want anybody who was like really close to me uh, exposed to you guys. I just thought that I would just want just uh, friends, but not like family, just random people that I knew. But uh, today I actually have someone interesting that I would like for you to meet, who I consider like family. Uh, wait a minute. No, Felipe. Yeah, Felipe. Yeah. I'm, I'm in. No, you're, you're okay, in. Okay, I'm trying to find my sweet spot here. So let me get some spot. Who does this remind you of? Okay, never mind. Never mind. No, no. Okay, I'm just making fun. Okay. Uh, you about this hey, uh, no starting shit. Mm -mm. Uh, shout out to uh, Creative Minds, uh, Dewat, I think his name is. Okay. Yes. What's the deal, man? I can't complain. I can't All right, so. It could be worse. Yeah. So as you see, I got a new camera. I'm trying some new things. I'm loving it. So we kind of look off a second. We're just kind of yes. experimenting. So. Uh, forgive us. Uh, speaking of cameras, uh, I know that you're big into technology. Definitely. I want to talk about this new iPhone. Nice. And uh, what do you think about it? Uh, I know that I saw your Facebook page. By the yes. way, this is Felipe. Felipe. Did I? Did I okay, no, I didn't, didn't give you a formal introduction. Yeah, okay. For, uh, YouTubers, viewers, Felipe. Felipe. You can catch me on Facebook, Felipe Eduardo. You spell it how it sounds. Felipe Eduardo. Okay. Uh, I noticed on your on your Facebook you had a um, a leaked picture yes. of the new iPhone 5. Yes. Uh, they they kind of tricked you guys with the iPhone 4s. I say you guys because he's a he's an Apple man. I'm more Android. Android. Yeah, it's unfortunate so. for itself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But coming out I, at least from what it, at least from what it's showing right now, coming out on the new iPhone. I know I got a couple leaked shots. Um, from it and it's showing that you know it's a little bit longer the screen now they haven't gave no like no tech specs on it so how much ROM the processor that they're gonna be using on the inside of it I haven't heard too many things about the camera or anything but for the most part we got we got we got shots of the chassis of the body it's longer like I just said um, and it looks like unfortunately they're gonna be changing up the bottom piece that 13 pin connector which is unfortunate for a lot of people because I know myself, I've got wireless speaker docks. Um, you know, most of the radios and stuff that's out uh, and, and surround sound systems, they already have the 13 pin dock that's inside of it. So pretty much everything is geared towards the way that. So you think that uh, Apple would actually take that risk and, Man. and make all of their um, supporters and Definitely. people who support them go out and buy a whole new uh, connecting device? Definitely. And, and, and it's kind of, I don't want to say a long time coming, but that big ass um, 13 pin dock under the phone is taking up so much space under there that they can use for, you know, bigger speakers at the bottom, uh, maybe another microphone. So it's kind of time for that time for that to go, especially if they want to, you know, slim the phone down a little bit more or just kind of utilize, you know, the space more properly. That's got to go. And I, from the shots, the way I see, it, they're changing it up. Now, don't get me wrong. I can imagine Apple's going to come out with maybe like an adapter where you can plug the 13 pin and uh, that little pin connector into another one and make it smaller for the other stuff but it's just gonna look all cumbersome trying to put the connector pin and all that good stuff hmm so, well if you feel that way i wonder how everybody else is gonna feel and how apple decided to come to that conclusion i think that for me like i want to give apple a try but uh i think one of the deciding factors for me was the screen size they have not updated their screen. I know that you said that they have, um, you know, they come in different uh, yeah. sizes. Yeah. Uh, but I want them to have like a card. You know, I want them to have like the HDMI ports. And yes. do they have the HDMI ports? I on? mean, now you can get you can get connectors to plug into the bottom that 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 switches it over to it. But nah, not just an HDMI port. That's I want them to get into that, man. I mean, I just think that they're kind of running behind time. But their screen, their resolution, the, their operating system, Excellent. flawless. Excellent. But I think that, I hope, I really hope that with the i5 that they uh, actually enhance or uh, make the screen larger. Yeah, I know they're going to elongate it. I don't think, where's my phone at? I don't think they're going to make it, um, where's my, well, I don't think they're going to make it any wider. Because the way the iPhone is set up now, if you got your hand on a thumb, you can pretty much, pretty much got from your thumb. You can control anything on the screen now. Well, so, 
what you got? One of the things that I noticed when you said that was the phone that I did decide to go with was the uh, Evo 4G, the LTE. Yeah. This is it's I like bad. it. I play it's not it. bad. I play nice it. screen, everything. Uh, kind of like the 3D features that it has. Yes. Um, and the so process kinda, is pretty quick when playing yeah, with it. The screen resolution on it is absolutely like, excellent. I'm not. But I, I did notice that, like my screen, my thumb cannot go all over yeah, the yeah, screen, yeah. like you said. Yeah, you got to change the position in your hand. You can't just have one set comfortable position and control the whole phone you you're gotta right, right. flip it around your hand which lends to dropping it if you're walking around or something of that nature but you know what it's easy to get used to and i do like the screen i like the fact that i can get you know i can watch my movies yes. i have that space to play with it's yes. easier for me with the keyboard i like yes. that one of the things that i uh, okay well i wanted to give some specs out i mean everybody's giving specs out about the uh, 4g lte uh i saw something on uh some website where it was talking about the comparison between the uh, 4G and the 3D, the e Evo 3D. I just thought that the Evo 3D was one of those phones that, um, I don't know, that it was just a nice go-between with I a really little gadget. I didn't really get into it, didn't get it. I stayed with my Evo and I waited because I knew something else was coming out. Definitely. The, uh, just some quick stats on the, uh, the uh, Evo 4G LTE. Uh, it comes with a 4.0 ice cream sandwich. Uh, like I said, the screen is larger, 4.7 HD, uh, HD display. It has Google Wallet, although I haven't used that yet, and it has Beats Audio. Now, one of the things that I noticed with Beats Audio is I kind of I didn't know what to expect with it, but what I discovered is like when I plug it up in my in my car, it makes the sound in the car sounds to me a little better, a little clearer. I like it. I mean, it's no different than when you're on the iPhone and you've got the equalizer setting when you go to the menu. That's pretty much all it does. Is just a different. Um, Equalizer setting. Well, um, and it's nothing, and they try to hype that up with the beats on the inside. And I know they're doing it on the laptops as well too. Yeah. It's just a different sound process with the bass. You know, some people like the bass in theirs. I know I'm a more high type person on my end, but it doesn't sound bad. And you can hear the the digital bass kind of bump up a little bit more when, when you're in the car with it. But I heard that when you have the speakers, the actual beat speakers, it really makes a difference. I can imagine. The uh, they have one of the things that I did like about this phone was that. Uh, it has, uh, of course, more phones are going towards the 8 megapixel, of uh, but it has a 1.3 megapixel front camera, which kind of makes a little difference. But I think I'm kind of waiting because they're it's all like, right out of, they're yeah, all I'm like, one I'm like why front. don't they just go ahead and give us a nice 3.4 point or even 8 megapixel camera in the front? front. Yeah, I, I mean, mean you like, gotta I'm understand like, like real estate. You gotta understand real estate, and that's one of the big things. They already have, okay, they already got a camera in the back, then they're trying to squeeze one in the front put it around where the speakers are at the top. It's all about real estate on that and about, I can imagine, cutting prices as well. They, they try to make it as affordable as they can. So they try to throw two eight you know, megapixel cameras on it that's gonna bump the price up and then it's gonna bump the size up. And then the battery life, well, I guess it's the battery life. You know what, play too the much. battery life, okay, on this phone, so much better. They really got it right. They finally fixed it. All day, they you battled it all day. I'm, I'm serious. On there all I'm, day. I'm telling you, uh, ten hours worth of talk time. I'm I'm loving it. Although uh, app, iPhone, they've yeah. already been in the game with talking a long time and having a great battery life. So it's about time that they caught up. Yes. But here's here's one of the things that I did not like about uh, this phone. Okay, so everybody loves the kickstand. I love the kickstand. I love the kickstand. Okay, the HDMI port. Here's the thing: when you go to charge your phone up, if you're watching. Uh, something if you plug it up to your computer and you want to charge it up here's the cord the HDMI cord to plug it up is right here so if you have the kickstand going how are you gonna plug it up and then it's in the way yeah but but here's a solution just in case you know you've had this problem what you do is you just flip it around so you flip it around and it lays like that, and nice. then you can plug it in at the top, and then it hangs over. I, mean, I thought that it, that was going to be a problem. Is it just a drive? Oh, it's pretty no, sturdy. No, it's, it's, it's really sturdy, okay, so it's great. not gonna it's not gonna fall. Nice, nice, so, nice. So yeah, so I don't know if that was just luck on their behalf because the, the screen flips around, of course. Oh, excellent. Yeah, so it becomes it was a problem, but now it's not a problem anymore. Nice, so nice, 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 nice. I really appreciate that. New stuff coming out. New stuff. Uh, Apple.